Chapter Five. But a certain man named Ananias, with Sapphira his wife, sold a possession, and kept back part of the price. His wife also being priory to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Whiles it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied vento men, but vento God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and got VP the ghost, and great fear came on all them that heard these things. And the young men rose, wound him VP, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered Vento her, Tell me whether ye sold the land for so much. And she said, Ye, for so much. Then Peter said Vento her, How is it that ye how agreed together, tempt the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which how buried thy husband are at the dory, and shall carry thee out. Then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded VP the ghost, and the young men came in, and found her dead, and carrying her forth, buried her by her husband. And great fear came upon all the church, and upon as many as heard these things. And by the hands of the apostles were many sickness and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. And of the rest durst no man oin himself to them, but the people magnified them, and believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of men and women, in so much tea they brought forth the sick into the streeties, and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might o'ershadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about Vinto Hierusalem, bringing sick folks, and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed Uri one. Then the high priest rose, VP, and all they that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles, and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors, and brought them forth, and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning, and taught. But the high priest came, and they that were with him, and called the council together, and all the senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the prison to how them brought. But when the officers came, and found them not in the prison, they returned, and told, saying, The prison truly found we shut with all safety, and the keeper standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Now when the high priest, and the captain of the temple, and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. Then came one, and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple, and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officers, and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have been astoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you, that you should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood fawn verses. Then Peter, and the other apostles answered, and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised VP Yesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a sawyer, for to do repentance to Israel, and for to Eunice of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath jayu unto them that obey him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart, and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there VP1 in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of law, had in reputation among all the people, and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. 
and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to your salutes, what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose, B.P. Theudas, boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about four hundred, awoned themselves, who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered, and brought to naught. After this man rose, B.P. Eudas of Galilee, in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all you and as many as obeyed him were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found you in to fight against God. And to him they agreed, and when they had called the apostles, and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus, and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple, and in Uri house, they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Chapter 6 And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve you called the multitude of the disciples, bent over them, and said, It is not reason that we should leo the word of God, and sarrow tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you so in men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost, and wise dome, whom we may appoint o'er this business. But we will do our salus continually to prayer, and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stuan, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Permene, and Nicholas a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. And a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stuan full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there rose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines, and Cyrenians, and Alexandrians, and of them of Cilicia, and of Asia, disputing with Stuin. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they suborned men, which said, We how heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And they stirred VP the people, and the elders, and the scribes, and came upon him, and caught him, and brought him to the council. And set VP false witnesses, which said, This man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place, and the law. For we how heard him say, That this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place, and shall change the customs which Moses delivered verses. And all that sate in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been at the face of an angel.